the directorate of criminal investigations has dismissed terrorism guidelines launched by the office of public prosecutions terming them clandestine and aimed at certain people in an affidavit through chief inspector martin otieno the dci notes its exclusion in the drafting of the guidelines and only being notified of the validation through social media here is the report in a replying affidavit to a petition by activist member Ocharo, who the guidelines by the Office of Public Prosecution, the Director of Criminal Investigation has dismissed the guidelines, terming them unconstitutional. In an affidavit through Chief Inspector Martin Oteno, the DCI says they were never consulted in the formulation. They are clandestine and can create disharmony among Kenyans. The DCI has disowned the guidelines. The DCI has said those guidelines are unconstitutional. Now this goes against the constitution of Kenya where both bodies being independent and not exercising any sovereignty over each other have been separated with independence and everyone's function is clearly outlined. Has misunderstood his role or his participation in anti-terror offenses. Mr. Nurdin Haji, or the Director of Public Prosecution, is not to be involved in investigations of terror-related offenses. In any event, Mr. Nurdin Haji should just stick to his role and responsibility as prescribed under Article 157 of the Constitution. The DCI further says they were notified of the validation through social media in a press release. The guidelines set by the ODPP say state agencies, civil society, the ATPU must notify the prosecutor when the unit is gathering evidence against a suspect and intending to make an arrest unless there are exceptional circumstances. Meanwhile, anti-graft crusader John Gidongo will now pay former internal security minister Christopher Murungaru 10 million shillings after a three-judge bench reduced the amount from 27 million shillings. Murungaru had sued Gidongo for causing the publication of a dossier linking him to corruption. Finally, Alvin Shivondo, the man arrested twice for stealing at a local supermarket, will be taken to Madare Hospital for counselling. Alvin made headlines weeks ago when he was arraigned for shoplifting, got bailed out only to be rearrested last Friday for attempting to steal again. Serafina Roby for Prime Edition.